Morning, morning. So you join us on the Leeds Liverpool. We're in Wigan in Lancashire. Is it Lancashire or Greater Manchester? No, Lancashire, I think. Um, and do you know the mooring spot was okay? I know everyone says don't, you know, Wigan's this, that and the other. It does have a bit of a reputation for antisocial behaviour and actually a few incidents um, or incidences of things that have gone way beyond antisocial behaviour. But no issues at all last night. We did pick our spot very carefully indeed. So right opposite the CRT compound which has CCTV and right next to some quite pleasant um, housing. So maybe we were lucky, uh, although you make a little bit of your own luck in where you choose to moor. Um, but no issues. Today, uh, well, we've got locks, lots of them, 13 locks ahead of us which make up the rest of the Wigan flight. Thankfully, Sue's popping over to assist with the last lock, so I won't be on my own. I am perfectly capable of doing the locks on my own. It's just, it takes longer, obviously. Um, and secondly, weirdly on this flight, there aren't the normal bollards in the lock landing areas that you'd be able to tie the boat to. So you get to where the lock landing is and there's nothing there to tie to. So you're out with a pin and, um, uh, and the rope and doing it that way, which is time consuming. Anyway, let's get cracking. Half past ten, just going past lock 70, past through, about to enter lock 69 ahead. So, um, yeah, it's pretty hard work this, especially given the CRT seem uh, adamant that you need to be out by 12. Um, so, don't want to get to the top lock and find out that they've uh, they've locked it. So. So we're trying to get there. I've got an hour and a half now. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. So I've got a bit of a system going. Sue's opened the gate here in front, I'm walking back to shut that gate there. And while she's shutting that gate, I climb out of the lock in front using the ladder. Um, at which point Sue's usually back to close the back gate and then I open all the paddles etc and rinse and repeat. <laughs> yeah. This would be a right blather if you were on your own. Jeez. And I was going to tackle this on my own. I mean it's doable, it's just... Well, yeah. It's a nice bridge on this one for a change. All the most of the locks this morning just looked identical. You could be anywhere apart from the number on the lock beam. This one's got a nice bridge over it. Rated 1860. Looks like this gate won't open fully either, so. Let's have a little bit of a squeeze. Should slow down a touch. I don't want to get jammed, wedged, and really well. Right, so, off to the 
port side I go with Road from Wimbless. Right, okay, here's the bit I wasn't particularly looking forward to. Look at all this. So, I don't know what I can do about it. It's, there's that much of it, I think we just need to drive through it and hope that um, Josh doesn't get stuck. Stroke all that doesn't end up in the weed hatch. So, so as soon as I open these gates, it's coming in. Ugh. Here it comes. Two more to go and a whole bunch of weeds to get through. Fingers crossed. In the meanwhile, this uh, dog, I think it's a terrier, has got Sue's windless. <laughs> it's not letting go. <laughs> Funny. Wow, it's quite the operation. Look at all that. It's got a massive bank of it. Wowzers. I've got to say, big shout out to the CRT guys, the three of them here just digging this uh, this weed out of um, out of the canal. They were just telling Sue that the stuff grows at 30 centimetres a day in summer and uh, 10 centimetres a day at this time of year. But I don't know if they're paid employees or volunteers, but they are moving but they're moving mountains of this stuff each day just to make sure that we can all get through. So um, yeah, hard, hard, tough, you know, manual work that. Um, and they're keeping a smile on the faces. So I know some people like to moan about CRT this, CRT that, but you know, the individuals are doing a great job. So top lock ahead of us. Um, bit more weed to go through and then we should be off the Wigan flight. Shame to see a pub like this unused. No doubt awaiting redevelopment. Weed, 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 weed. Wow, so here it is, the top lock. Hey, pretty. <laughs> I think that boat's, uh... yeah. There it is, the top of the flight. Wowzers. That was quite a thing. That was quite a thing. How was that for you, my angel? Never want to come back to Wigan ever again. <laughs> There's a weird echo here. There must be this uh, chamber here. Chamber. Tough, isn't it? Uh, we've only got one um, anti-vandal key. We need to sort that out, don't we? Yeah. Get a second key. Because it just means I can't operate unless he's been round and already unlocked all the 
the bad is I can't um, you see it like here so on this bar which would turn there's a, a flap which is restricted by this bolt here so you put an anti-vandal key in the bottom here turn it that comes that releases down and you can operate the kit nice simple system you just get a really satisfying clunk when they um, in fact I'll go and uh, check these now so I'm not going to show you what the key looks like um, but so that's the that's the bolt that sort of stops oops, this from rotating and uh, get a really satisfying clunk boom yeah nice and we're away. It'd be much easier going down, wouldn't it? Yeah. I prefer going down in normal life. But yeah. just, this has been horrible. Ooh, strong word. Yeah, well it has. It's grim. Oof, another strong word. Do you want more? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're alright. <laughs> I'm going to bail on that. <laughs> well, there's just so many things, aren't there? Is there a challenge? I was snagging these locks. Oh, padlocks will remain on gate paddles to prevent weed build-up in the back ones. She's on one now, right? The camera's going off while she... Uh, we have a moan about that. Oh yeah, actually. Actually. It is. It's just covered in tape. It's a padlock. You can't put your key in. Uh, let's have a look. It's, oh, just, I see. it's just a padlock, yeah. but it's, so you can't get it. Just in case you were interested in what the aftermath of a morning's worth of locking, this sort of locking as well looks like. That's sort of what it looks like. Oh yes, don't know what this rusty stuff is. Yeah, so good. Might need to, um... <laughs> this is proper boating. <laughs> Not like what some of these lot do it like. How do they Channel do it? beep, channel beep beep. <laughs> this is hardcore boating. I've got to give him his, uh, his medication in a minute. <laughs> He'll come back refreshed. Boom, we're on the uh, Leeds Liverpool proper. I say proper because Sue keeps pulling me up. Apparently, the bit that we've just been on is what's that called? Is it the Lee Arm? The Lee something? It's still the Lee to Liverpool, isn't it? Yes. I thought the Lee whatever branch <laughs> arm yeah. was the bit that started at the where the bridge where you come off the bridge water and then it joined up with the Lee's Liverpool. We need to check them out. We do need to. Uh, chap on the boat behind. Oh, look at all this. Uh, it's just asked what it was like for weed, so we just said, look, first three locks, not so good, but then it gets okay. And he said that this area that we're on now, this stretch that we're on, is pretty weedy until we get to a place called Red Rock, and then it clears. So, looking forward to that. Need to get down the weed hatch at some point and uh, just check there's nothing in there. First floor conservatory going on. Something tells me I'm going down the weed hatch. Pick your path time. Walk it in. Oh wow. Oh my word. Now we seem to have a little bit of blockage. Oh, this boat stopped at the side and this weed is 
right across the canal, so I'm not sure how we're going to fare as we uh, as we drive into it. We're not. We're, not. So we're going to stop before. But we're going to stop before it, I think, and uh, help them with the clearing out process. And off he goes to try and clear us a clear us a path through. As you can see there, it is a barrier. Mm -hmm. So, we're through, not that you can tell, because it just moves as one mass, it just floats. So we did, um, just came along through, um, through this bit here, and it's uh, closed up again as soon as we've gone past. What it's going to do with those. <laughs> He looks like he's got a little garland around him. <laughs> it's a bit weird, it's all just sort of moving. Uh... Yeah, so this, this island on it here at the front is just coming along for the ride now. It's on Josh's bag. So wherever we go, that goes. <laughs> oh, seemingly, wherever we go, this bit goes as well. We claim this island for our own. <laughs> We've got another massive blob of it in front of the boats to spawn through, so... Good. Hopefully we'll leave this where that other blob is. We should just get stuck under the other blob and that's the other one. Wow, look at that. That's just full of it. You're going for a game of golf, what, what? Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I'm hauling right round. Very, very nice. This is what weed can do to you. This is what? What weed can do to you. I don't realise what I've said. I mean this stuff. Sue's just seen a kingfisher. Have you, have you not? Oh, fabulous, yeah. It flew really low right across the canal, right in front of me. Cool. Can't get enough of that. No, no. Fabulous, out. Can't be bored of that, can you? No. So keep your eyes peeled. It's just sod's law that you see them when the camera's not rolling and when you turn the camera on trying to capture. Because sometimes they fly from tree to tree to get out of the way and then. We go again, we've had a few You don't have any efforts to try and capture the one yeah. It's a very nice golf course. Alright, so the boat in front has stopped again. Quite sure what the situation is. No one's on the tiller, so they're not moving at the time of seeing. We're just going to have a pull up the now and then, because we have no choice. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, well, we could overtake them. Gap, yeah, yeah, you could get you could get through there if you shared yourself. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to see what's, uh, what's what's happening now. It's got a little chicane here. Yeah. It's amazing stuff. I know it's troublesome. Is that the word? Yeah, it's not useful. It is, yeah. I suppose the docks is. Yeah, but the wildlife will be. And things will feed off it, surely. So it makes a change to see other boats. We haven't seen like a number of other boats more for ages, have we? Yeah. So got to a place called Red Rock, a few people, sorry a few people, a couple of people had mentioned Red Rock. Doesn't look to be much here, there's an old pub which, which is closed, golf course behind me. Um, but, check this out. Boom! A jetty with the visitor moorings. So I've not been on a jetty before, so that's a new thing. 
two days. Don't think we'll use it, we'll just use it for one. Um, but yeah, how cool is that? So we were going to go a, a bit further. Uh, there's a place called Adlington ahead. So that's Mr Duck. So we're go heading for Adlington, but actually having spotted this, yeah, sort of, why would you not? So it's been a long day. I mean, we, not in terms of time, what is it, half two? Two o'clock. So that's not the longest day cruising ever, six hours. But it's been pretty, uh, pretty gruelling. So we've done, obviously, the Wigan flight um, and dealing with all the, the weed, etc. So, yeah, kind of a relaxed afternoon now instead of cruising. Hopefully get a few miles in tomorrow, so that's the plan. So hopefully catch you on the next one. Ta-ra for now. <laughs>